2018 Aston Martin Vanquish S Review. The Vanquish is out in style using this type of year's more robust S version. Ferrari and Lamborghinis provide the ultimate in European performance, while Bentley and Rolls Royce perform the same with luxury. Aston Martin positions itself in the heart of these two approaches which consists of 2018 Vanquish S. Its V12 engine delivers 580 horsepower along with a stirring soundtrack, as well as its interior flaunt systems artistry in combining leather, metal and wood. This year is liable the last hurrah for your Vanquish, a vehicle that represents the pinnacle of Aston Martin's lineup, at the least from a pricing perspective. Interestingly, its new DB11 stablemate is cheaper and carries the countless benefits of a brand new design, from a more robust turbocharged engine for an updated interior with modern tools features. Still, purists might evaluate the snarl in the Vanquish's non-turbocharged V12 superior, and many might repeat the Vanquish looks better, too. For a motor vehicle whose value rests largely in the presence, both oral and visual, that's enough for several to choose the Vanquish S. What's new? Now bearing the S designation, the Vanquish gets a set of incremental performance improvements in what's likely it's a year ago of production. Compared to recent lease Vanquish, the S has 12 more horsepower and revised suspension tuning for any more compliant ride quality. Even however the 2018 Aston Martin Vanquish S can be purchased in only one trim, there are lots of ways to personalize yours. Hours The convertible Volante speaks, even so the coupe contains the kind of look that produces your knees wobble. Why'd go for the optional features that you would think would otherwise come standard on an automobile of this caliber, including seat ventilation and also the auto-dimming rear view mirror. Otherwise, is going on getting the custom colors and trim materials you want. Trim levels and features. Like many of the other 12 cylinder vehicles stated in extremely limited numbers and on offer at high cost, the Vanquish S will come in one near fully loaded trim. It is also available like a coupe or soft top convertible, the Volante. The majority of options provide buyers the capability to tailor the looks and feel from the Vanquish S for their tastes. Whether you end up picking the coupe or convertible, the Vanquish S employs a 5.9 litre V12 580 horsepower, 465 pound feet of torque along with an 8 speed automatic transmission. A manual transmission is just not available. Standard equipment includes 20-inch wheels, launch control, a limit slip differential, carbon ceramic brakes, an adaptive suspension, xenon headlights, LED running lights, power folding mirrors, back and front parking sensors, a rear view camera, power adjustable front seats with heating, leather upholstery, Bluetooth navigation, a 6.5-inch screen, Apple CarPlay along with a 13-speaker bang and all offers an audio system with satellite radio. Convertible models feature rear seats which can be optional about the coupe. Other options include front seat ventilation, a squared off leader derived from your limited edition 177, an auto-dimming rear view mirror, lightweight carbon fiber seats, plus a wind deflector with the convertible. The rest with the options provide buyers lots of aesthetic choices regarding wheels, brake caliper color, and interior leather and trim options. Aston Martin's personalization program, called Q, makes for even further customization of colors and trims. So if there exists a color combination, type of stitching, or material you would delight in having, likelihood is Aston Martin makes it happen within the Vanquish S driving. The 2018 Vanquish S may get by on looks and sound alone, just about all drives well. Not an objectively small car, it feels compact on narrow canyon roads. Acceleration sounds and feels excellent, even though it is slower than its rivals. Interior 
The Vanquish S prioritizes design over functionality with immaculate hand shin leather and quite often cumbersome controls. It'll take the time to get used to up the parking brake, which rests next to the driver door similar to a Corvette through the late 80s. Touch sensitive controls could be uncooperative. Utility The Vanquish S includes a small, shallow trunk. Hardly any interior storage and sub pickup holders. The same is true to the other cars from the V12 touring car segment, so pack light. There are no lower latch anchors for an auto seat, but it is easy to achieve the upper tether around the rear shelf.